Hey peeps, and welcome back to another episode here in the Grounded series. Oh, look at that, peeps. Look at the sun reflecting through the grass. Oh, poor, poor Pete. I have made him look straight into the sun so many times in this series. But yes, peeps, welcome back. In the last video, we went around the upper yard and exterminated almost every Black Widow we could find. Only one was spared our wrath. I'm not actually searching for it right now, but it is here. And that's just because we didn't know how to get in here. I have a suspicion that I don't think I checked this wall. So it might be under the trash cans that we can get in there, or it might just be connected to the door that was under here. I'm not sure, but either way, we are not pursuing this in hey, today's episode. I thought, it, what was that sound? Was that a the stink bug down here making that much sound? Anyway, but yeah, peeps, we're not going to be pursuing that today. We were able to get the Widow Dagger, which I did upgrade to level 5, which is nice because now that means we could chop down level 3 roots. So we're going to do that first, but the main goal of today's episode is, one, checking out the staves. Because now that we have pine cones or have access to pine cones, we have really everything we need to make these. We just need the glob candies and... And then I guess, yeah, they all have their own specific elemental ingredients. So for the mint staff, we need crow feather pieces for some reason. I, I guess I guess they are in the picture here. For the spicy staff, we need fire ant mandibles, which makes sense. And the sour staff, we need pond moss, which doesn't make sense. And actually, looking at the stats, peeps, why is sour so much better than everything else like mint staff and then fire fire just seems to be a straight up downgrade from mint statistically speaking and then sour is absolutely insane so i'm thinking i'm gonna pursue the sour staff as the first one because i mean even with stuff that's not weak to sour damage type that stun is kind of crazy i wonder if it could stun lock things with the right build but for this we're gonna need sour globs and pond moss which i don't think we have any sour uh yeah no sour which is actually what this uh, these research points are these are other sour globs on the map and thankfully there's actually a bunch of them in the you know eastern part of the upper yard here so we're gonna go hunt down these and while we're there we might try and kill some wasps because we did also find wasp nest peeps and uh as terrifying as they are, I really want to kill them to get their armor. Because first of all, it just looks cool. It looks like, like the old Spanish kind of stuff, conquistador armor. And it's got this charged shot combo, which makes me think that this build, you know, similar to the B build, is a ranged focused armor set, which is perfect for us because we just unlocked this bad boy. Got it fully upgraded the black ox crossbow i cannot wait to use this and i can't wait to even use it with this armor set to see how crazy this crossbow can be especially because we also went ahead and made a bunch of new ammo types for it so it's it's gonna be performing really well i hope you peeps have been telling me to make this for a while now so i'm, I'm kind of hyped up about it but unfortunately for us it is turning dust so we're gonna go ahead and sleep through the night and i'll see you peeps once we start getting over here oh actually no before we do that let's go ahead and check out the places that require the level three knife i did level this up a little bit peeps so it's gonna be an okay weapon but i don't really think we'll mainly be using it as a weapon so let's go ahead and open this and i think we're probably gonna have to refight a lot of things in here. Oh my gosh, I forgot how incredibly dark it is. There we go. All right, I actually am kind of glad that we need to do this, peeps, because we need a bunch of larval spikes because I'm actually out of the tier one upgrade material for, for weapons. I think it's the quartz. And we can make an infinite amount of it, but we just need larval spikes and sap. So coming down here to farm some larval spikes will actually help us in the future. All right, smack, smack, smack. All right, I'll bring you peeps back once we find the, the 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 roots, I guess, that we need to cut through. Oh, I was really hoping. Oh, oh, there it is. Yeah, I was gonna say I was really hoping for the double kill with the AOE, but I believe these are the roots. I'm glad it didn't take me forever to find these. Oh man, I need. To, I really need to repair my armor. All right, but here we go. Wait, what? Axe? 
I only needed an axe for this? Gosh dang it. I could have come here so long ago. I thought I needed the knife. Oh my gosh, there's so much marble in here. Holy moly. Oh wait, I think, wasn't there another one that like, like this, but it had quartz behind it? I can't remember, but I vaguely remember there being a quartz room and a marble room. So this is obviously the marble room. Oh man, I wish there was more. And it's a lot of tier three peeps. We don't really even know what we use the tier three marble for, but hopefully we'll find out soon enough. And there's not even another one. All right, well, I guess I'm gonna search around for the quartz room. I can't remember if it was locked behind something or if we did find a way to get into it in the last episode. But if we did, then I guess I just will skip to us going to the yard. Oh, right, this leads out. But yeah, I'll, I'll skip to us. Oh, actually, Maybe I should sleep so Pete doesn't destroy his sleep schedule. I think that would be smart. All right, yeah, I'm gonna go sleep first, check back in there, and if I can't find anything, then I'll see you peeps in the upper yard. But if I do find it, then I'll see you peeps at that room. <laughs> oh, here it is. And yep, all right, we need the ax for this too. So I guess, yeah, that makes sense. The first time we came in here, we probably didn't have the ax. And yes, this is what I was hoping for, quartzite. All right, well that solves our resource shortage. Okay, good, I'm glad that we were able to find this. Okay, so before I break that, I, never mind, I guess Pete broke it anyway, there was that pipe we also saw in the last episode and that for sure needed a tier three knife to cut through. So we're gonna go ahead and do that and then we'll go ahead and get these sour globs and everything. All right, we're coming up on the pipe, but actually, peeps, you know what I've just realized? If we're gonna be fighting wasps later, then I should probably make, oh, oh, threat detected. From who? Something wishes me harm, but I, I don't know where it is. So I'm going to assume it's not real, but yeah, so I should really make the, I think it's pollen arrows. Oh, we can make sour arrows as well, but is it the pollen arrows? Yeah. Perfect for bringing down pesky flying creatures. We could do this. We have a lot of pollen at base that I've just randomly picked up as I've come across. So we'll ground the wasp and then it's just, we kill it on the ground, right? It makes sense to me. Okay, but uh, for that's, that's something for the future. Oh wait, actually also we needed fire ant mandibles. Right? For the fire staff? We haven't seen a fire ant soldier yet. It's all been workers. Interesting. So there has to be... Ah, uh, leave me alone. Wait, I'm not ready. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready. And there you go. Oh, that wasn't a parry? All right, well, either way, you're super dead. Hey! Wait, what? That's the first time I've ever gotten a fire ant head? You have to be kidding me. I've killed so many fire ants, what? Okay, that's weird. Wait, oh wait, no, this is chop as well. Gosh dang it. So this whole time, I, I could have just been accessing these areas. Oh, oh wow, it is it is dark in here, peeps. I'm, I'm glad I'm carrying this around, but I'm also worried. Is this where the fire ants are gonna be? I'm, uh, I'm not, Sure. At least, uh, at least we can break these really easily when I actually no Alphonse. Yeah, at least we can break these easily when I actually remember to use the right mutation. Okay. That looks like something we blow up. I can't actually go in here, so this is like a sneak peek to what we're supposed to be doing. Okay, peeps. Um. Oh. Let me guess. Oh, this is water. Oh, that's really gross. Oh, how can I get up here? I want to get up here. Ugh. No, I want the stuff. Oh, I don't want to break it just in case it despawns. Okay, well, um, I still have Mertine on this. Oh, Wendell, are you good to be in water? Okay, you won't short circuit or anything, right? But yeah, we still have Mertine, so we can still move quickly underwater. Oh, what? It's all for it to be. What is going on with these shadows? All for it to be a dead end, though. Okay. What's the point? Where am I supposed to go? Is just is is this just like a sneak peek at what's to come in a later area? I think what I might be able to do is 
chuck a bomb over and blow up this rock. Oh, that didn't go well at all. Okay, maybe Pete, don't hit the ceiling this time. That would be intelligent. Here, let's actually crouch. Oh, ah, no. All right, I'm gonna try one more time. Yeah, no, it seems, it, it looks like it hits something. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing we just come to that later at some point. So let's keep an eye out for any extra caves and maybe we'll be able to explore that either later this episode or keep it in mind for a future one. I feel like the amount of fire ants I'm seeing is increasing and I believe I just, is that a hole? Hold on, this, this might be a, a fire ant hole right here, peeps. Oh yeah, it is the jungle ant hill. All right, well, we, uh, I guess we found the cave we were talking about, but I don't really want to do that in this episode. Ah, gosh, there's so many violent creatures in the backyard. All right, please, please. There's still no soldier ants though. Usually uh, a soldier ant uh, peeks out of the, of the ant hills every now and then. There we go. All right, but yeah, I'm gonna, you know, keep that in my mind. Oh, I guess I don't have to keep it in my mind. It's marked on the map now, but we're gonna save that for later and continue with our goal of getting sour lumps to try and make that sour wand. I wonder why we don't have any pond moss. I don't know why that, that uh, wolf spider being there like tripped me up so much. I was like, oh, I thought it was a black widow, I guess. Okay, so apparently there's a sour lump here. I had to climb this though earlier last episode to try to get on the lawnmower and I feel like I I would have seen it, but maybe not if it's buried under all of this wood. And I don't I don't know, peeps. Maybe it's all underground. Yeah, it might be underground cuz I feel like this is a lot. Like I should have seen some of this if it were all above ground. Oh, I found one. So I guess at least this one's not underground. It required some insane parkour to get to though, which I guess falls in line with, no, please, please. No, 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 You do not fall. Do not fall. Okay, we're gonna need a bunch of these peeps to get all of the sour lumps. Where's the next one? Okay, it's, ah, uh, it's over there apparently. Okay, well, I might be able to jump this with the help of a dandy lion. There we go. Some epic parkour, and there's a milk molar here as well. Okay, well, I mean, this is really cool, peeps. I like being rewarded for my efforts. There's a bunch of just good stuff up here that we can collect. So how am I gonna get over here is the, is the question. I guess, okay, I guess it's more dandy lion shenanigans. Can I land here? Oh, this is gonna be close. Yo! Dang it, okay, well, we can fall back to down here at the very least. Oh, we gotta be very careful. Very careful not to fall. Um, I don't think there's anywhere I can go from here. Uh, maybe to those mushrooms? Maybe I can make it up to here? Uh, no, unless like the train is finicky enough for me to jump up. Oh gosh, dang it. Where, where is it? So it should, yeah, I, I, if it's anywhere, it's gonna be on top of this. And where to go from there? Oh man, I think I'm getting there, peeps. <gasps> oh my gosh. This is the first time we've seen a moth. There's a golden molar up here as well. Hi. Moth. So he's weak to fresh, spicy, and sour, but he resists slashing and salty. So what you're telling me is you're gonna get clubbed to death. Oh man. Okay, that's quite the health bar. It sounds so funny. It's like a little squeaky toy while it's snoring. All right. Well, you're definitely not a sour glob, unless yeah, it'd be it'd be up here, right? Nope, no sour globs up here, peeps. So it must be either under under the wood or it's underground. But um, yeah, let's let's go ahead and <laughs> start smacking the moth. All right, buddy, right in your big old eyeball. Oh, hi. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, this is this is pretty cool, actually. Oh, it's really weak, though. I kind of want to see more of its moveset. Oh! Okay. Oh, my gosh. I am very lucky I had those. Oh, a soldier! A soldier! Fire and soldier! Okay, nice. No, where's the moth? It's gonna die to poison! Dang it! I need its drops! No, get out of here, fire ants. Leave me alone. I want its drops. I'm gonna have to go all the way back up there now. Gosh, dang it. All right, peeps, we're back. I, I actually fell to my death while trying to make my way back up here because I, I ran out of the dandelions. Oh my gosh, there's an aphid just screaming somewhere. Alphonse, relax. Relax, Alphonse. Oh my gosh, do you want a pet? There, but yeah, so that actually reset us back to a save that helped me out because I was able to get up here much easier. So now we know to not let the moth blow us off of the tree. So let's just show no mercy and immediately demolish it. Oh wait, hold on. I gotta switch to a combat build. There we go. Ah, gosh, you do a lot of damage. There we go. It's stunned and we're gonna go ahead and just execute it here. Don't. Yep. Nice try, Miss Moth. But unfortunately, my back was to the wall. Oh, are you kidding me? My inventory is full. So I didn't get so much of that stuff. Gosh, dang it, dude. All right. Well, I guess we got to go down there anyway. I don't need these. Trash these. Yes. All right. Well, Geronimo, I, I have all my stuff back. I hope it's not despawned. Maybe maybe the moth parts were all that was. Yeah, dude, there's no way I'm gonna find all the rest of the moth parts. Okay, well, <laughs> it's unfortunate, but uh, at least we can go try and find this other sour thing now. And there we go, another piece of sour candy mind. We just need a couple more, but check this out over here, peeps. I was wandering in this direction. Please don't see me. No, you're so annoying, but look. There's a giant hole here. Oh, there's another wasp nest. And it's like a quarry. There's so much like upgrade material down here. There we go. And oh, that's a lot of fire ants. So I'm guessing this is, you know, one of the fire ants HQs. Oh my gosh, please leave me alone. I'm so slow. But uh, yeah, I, 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 all this stuff that I want. Hey, there's that billy hog. Wendell, you could eat it if you if your mouth still worked, but uh, yeah, there are, there's so much cool stuff to do here that I want to hold off because I, I want to like do things in, in order. I, I keep getting distracted. Okay, let's let's get out of here though, peeps. There's, there's a lot of bad things here and let's start heading to another spicy, or uh, not spicy, the stump. Yeah, another sour glob. Why are there so many fire ants? I feel like Tully, you, you should have gotten an exterminator for all these fire ants. Ooh. Oh, I hear a... Yep, there's a wolf spider there. I'm not surprised at all about the presence of wolf spiders in here. Oh, this looks like another lab, but this doesn't look like Tully's color scheme. Well, this is interesting, peeps. Okay, again, we're not here to marvel. We're here to grab, ow, sour candy and, and, and make magic. <laughs> all right, peeps, I did give up on finding the sour glob over by the stump. I think it is underground. Uh, this is also gonna be our first fire ant soldier kill. There we go, hit him in the eyeball. Oh, buddy. Oh, you never stood a chance, but there we go, fire ant mandibles. But yeah, so there's another one here which the fire ants are aware of my presence. Hmm. Yeah, this might be a mistake to go down here, but I need I need the sour candy. <laughs> so we've got to risk it. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. No, I was going to say uh, we could have just duplicated, but we're super low on science again, so we can't really duplicate. Okay, now how can I get out of here as quickly and painlessly as possible? Um, probably not by going down into the hole. It doesn't help that it's nighttime either, peeps. Visibility has been reduced. Oh, oh, <gasps> yes. I think this is how we can get out. And there's more. Yeah, oh, there's so much here. Okay, all of our sour candy struggles have just been eviscerated. 
Oh my gosh. Okay. Yep. We are heading back to base. And ah, don't throw your hammer, you buffoon. Yeah, we're heading back to base and we're going to make that staff. Oh, wait. No, we're not because we need pond moss. So I guess we're going to be heading into the pond. Alrighty, peeps. It is morning once again. So I guess it's time to dive right into the pond. Skaploosh. And here we are. So now we just got to find pond moss, I swear. Okay, this is algae, not pond moss. Where the heck would pond moss be? Oh, I got to make sure we don't get eaten by the fish as well. Okay, peeps. So I'm switching up my strategy a little bit. I have went ahead and explored as much as I could in the pond, but I don't think the pond algae is actually in the koi pond. So I've set up this new zip line here to take us all the way over here because one, it's just convenient and I've been meaning to do it. And two, it's because I bet you the pond algae is in the moat around Castle Mordok or, or whatever this was called. Also, this is really cool because now if I ever want to get on top of this, I could just drop Everything off right awesome. here. I, I really like that I can do that, but I'm, I'm assuming it's here because it's a tier three resource. I've seen it nowhere else. And this is the only other pond I can think of because if you look on the map, this kind of looks like a pond. So, um, yeah, we're, we're going to go ahead and, and just dive on in, I suppose. Let's go ahead and... Oh, I also got a bunch of tadpole jerky to snack on. Nah, threat detected. Okay, well, yeah, we're probably going to have to kill a couple of tiger mosquitoes while we're here. Ow, dude, whoa. He like, 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 I don't know. I don't even know. That was just impressive. There we go. Unfortunately for him, not impressive enough. Okay, let's go ahead, put on our swim gear. And uh, let's dive on in to this absolutely disgusting, dirty pond. Thankfully, I do still have my salty spear so we can deal with these water fleas at least a little bit. And we will get water flea meat. Oh, here we go. Is this it? Yes, pond moss. I was right, peeps. And look at that. We now have a tier three knife to cut it with. Perfect. No, stop it. Hey, wait. I need that. Ow, why are you so rude? Actually, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and attack you with my knife if I could ever find it. Because I feel like the venom will... Oh, wait. This, you don't really get in venom by this, huh? Oh, yeah. Now you do. Okay. Well, I, I feel like I'd kill you a lot quicker by just stabbing you normally. All right. Oh, gosh. There's two of them. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and gather... Stop with your violence. They're, they actually do a lot of damage. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and gather a decent amount of this stuff, and we'll head on back to base. Okay, peeps, so that took a whole heck of a lot longer than I expected it to, but we can now get into the magic. First things first is we're going to make the wizard hat. Boom, there we go. We're a wizard. Termite King Carapace completely used up. Berry leather. Wow, I had the perfect amount of berry leather. That's a... Uh, very satisfying. So this gives us light armor and wizard's defense. Now there's no set for this. At least I don't think there is here. If I type in wizard and yeah, no, it's just the wizard hat. So hopefully I'm not missing out on a whole set, but I guess like at the same time, I hope I am because I want a set bonus, but uh, here we go. I, I'm, did, I, did I pass it? I passed it, peeps. I'm a silly goose. Here it is, the sour staff. We have a whole bunch of pond moss because I saw we also needed it for uh, the Black Widow set, so I decided to grab as much as I could. We have tough gunk in mass. We have a bunch of pinecone pieces and exactly five sour globs. Everything does look good, Tully, because boom! We now have the Sour Staff. What do we need to make this? We need more Fire Ant mandibles and, and whatnot. We could make this as well, which why not, I guess? Do we? Ha yeah, I have stuff to do that. Oh, I only have... Oh, wait, but I, I can make more. All right, well, well, first, before I make anything, let's actually just test out the first thing. But first, Wizarding Hat. Oh, dude, this looks, this looks right at home on Pete. This looks like something Pete would wear normally. <laughs> but here we go. A Wizard's... Defense attacks with staves increase your perfect block window for a short time. Huge. So 
attacking with this gives us parry windows? That's awesome. Okay, so this is a two-handed item, I I'm assuming. Yep, so two-handed item, even though I'm clearly only using one hand, and uh, here we go, peeps. So I guess here's what blocking looks like, but let's go ahead and just shoot it off into the distance and uh, oh oh unless oh never mind peeps we're gonna go ahead and demolish this guy oh it like wiggles oh no i thought the i thought the top wiggled a little bit all right but here we go Whoa! oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god oh wow okay so that was awesome that was actually really cool okay so let's do that again. That did a lot of damage. This isn't even upgraded. Could you please get out of the crevice that you're stuck in? So yeah, I'm guessing why this is so much better is because it has such a massive wind up. Wow. That's really fun. That's really cool. Oh, and I, I can shoot tiny ones as well. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, hold on. Well, now I want to go make the ice one because I want to see if the ice one is the is the same thing or not. So, yeah, this is... I feel like this is definitely magic, peeps. This doesn't feel like, you know, what, what could be accomplished with technology or just smashing candy together. So let's go ahead, make another five of these, and, uh, and, and, and get to minting. And there we go. The last of the mighty globs are ready. But first, let's go ahead and upgrade this because check this out, peeps. We can either continue making it bulky, which why would I do that? Or we can make it sleek and unlock Wizard's Duel, which sounds amazing. So yes, of course, I'm going to be doing that. And of course, we're still locked behind whatever this supreme upgrade material is is i can't wait to see what wizard duel is but first let's go ahead and fully max out the sour staff well i mean you know max out to as much as we can and yeah now we're doing 45 percent extra damage as if this wasn't already doing a lot of damage okay and also we went ahead and made some mint globs so now we have the mint staff as well and i think for completion's sake, peeps, we need to make the spicy staff, right? Like, it's just a couple more fire mandibles. We could easily do that. But first, let's go ahead and get some other globs ready. I'm so glad we found so much quartzite in this episode. But uh, what was it? Spicy? This, these are going to be the first spicy globs I've ever made. Thankfully, we have enough spicy shards. But yes, let's go ahead. And first, I guess let's see what Wizard Duel is all about. So... Yeah, Wizards Duel. A perfect block increases the damage you deal with staves for a short time. Wow. Okay, so this is all about parrying. So attacking people with this will make it easier to parry, and then landing the parries will make me do even more damage. Oh yeah, it's it's all coming together, peeps. It's all coming together. All right, my inventory though is looking a bit full. <laughs> that's that's uh slightly worrying okay but here we go let's test out what this does if this is just like the same thing but it's a blue electric ball instead of green i'm gonna be a little disappointed i'm not gonna lie but here we go let's just shoot it off into the distance actually can we charge it we absolutely can holy heck dude that takes up my entire wait what a short range freezing spell okay maybe maybe i actually need a creature to use it on so let's go find another larva hello mr larva there we go okay so uh what is just clicking it do nothing okay so let's go ahead and let him attack and we'll parry and then boom oh wow interesting so it is short range but i guess that and that's that that'd be a lot of damage if we were to upgrade it Okay, I thought it would, like, freeze them because, you know, freezing spell, but that's probably not a status effect. Let's go ahead and close this. Uh, okay, so I guess we can read up on what the, yeah, the spicy staff does. Mimics a long-range magic projectile. Okay, so that's the same thing. Yeah, that's the same thing as this. Interesting. All right, well, I guess I'm going to go kill some soldier ants, and I'll bring you peeps back for that because I want to see if we can just obliterate them with with the sour staff. Oh, I found one, peeps. I found a soldier. And what? 
Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, he's going to go in. Not if I can help it. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, dang it. That's not going to hit anything, is it? Oh, oh, man. I wish it was like AOE. Like it would shock the things that it went past. Okay, well, let's see. That's pretty good. And the stun is really nice as well. Okay. All right. Oh, boy. Okay, so how are we... Ow! What? Since when could you do that? Okay. Oh, this is this is not not the greatest of things here, peeps. Oh man. Okay, so it is you have to do you have to be pretty accurate with it. All right, but here we go. I'm going to fully charge and Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's not as crazy damage as I was actually hoping for, but it's still pretty good. I just you, there's just so many enemies here. Okay, let's let's switch to traditional methods. There we go. Just to wear out a few of these guys. And there we go. Okay, so they're not like insane wonder weapons. I, well, I mean, they're still pretty insane. Don't get me wrong. But I thought that we'd be one-shotting the larva for sure. And of course, that other fire soldier ant got away from me. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, this is going to be tough peeps i guess we're gonna have to be in here just a little bit and it's, it's so cool and it does a decent amount of damage like and then we can do that and then we can charge it up except we have one behind us and yeah i mean it, it's still really cool i'm just i just wish it did more okay what since when could these fire ants shoot at me like i feel like i've been fighting fire ants for a while and none of them have shot at me until now all right oh Whoa. That's a lot of food, peeps. Holy moly, that is a lot of food. Where are your leaders? Okay, well, the stun makes this really good in a 1v1. Because then... Oh, what? Did that just miss him? Ow, gosh, that hurts. Yeah, did that miss or did that do, like, no damage? Okay, so getting those heads was a bit more of a process than I thought it would be, but... Here we go, peeps. We can now create the spicy staff. Unfortunately, it is in the middle of the night, but I guess that might work out because it could look really cool. Ah, but here we go. Spicy staff. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's see how this looks. Yep, that actually look. All right, so out of all of them, this one definitely looks the coolest. All right, but here we go. Let's see what this one does. So can we hold it down? Oh, we can, and, and, oh, <laughs> it's like a giant fireball, holy heck, and I'm assuming, yep, I could just, I could just little, do little clicks as well, oh, I'm so sad, wait, you know what, you know what isn't resistant to spicy peeps, the wolf spider, <laughs> I'm gonna go see, how good this is without upgrades against the wolf spider. So actually, peeps, I'm... Oh, okay, that's a pill bug. But yeah, so I'm imagining how this works is that you're supposed to use all three in conjunction because the damage of this one, peeps, was pretty bad. I'm not going to lie. It was not great while I was fighting all of those fire ants and even the larva, just the charge time. And it was just, I don't know. I wasn't impressed, but I think what this is mainly used for is the stun because it was stunning like on the first hit almost every time. So I imagine this would be good to stun and then you'd switch into one of the other elements that are super effective to do crazy damage. But also there's a lot of gnats up here, peeps. I wonder if I could arc a shot up and hit all of the gnats. Oh my, dude, the range is actually kind of insane. I thought I'd have to give so much lead for the drop. Oh, there goes one. Hold on, wait, let's aim a little bit higher. And, oh, yeah, I, I just I just killed at least four more gnats doing that. Oh, my gosh. Are they cooked? Is this a cooked gnat? It is. This also cooks things. All right, there we go. Some, some cooked gnat. There we go, peeps. Heck, yeah. All right, but where? Where are the... Oh, right, they're not going to be here because it's nighttime. They're going to be actually wandering around. Well, that's a little unfortunate for me. Uh, where are you? I killed one of them earlier, but there should be two. There he is, peeps. There he is. There he is. There he is. All right. All right. Here we go. Just, I'm going to shoot one of these right into his butt. 
And... Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. All right, so... Then we can just keep doing this as well. Look at that. That's so good. And then... There we go. And let's see if I can get another charged one off before he attacks again. Ah, no! Man, that takes a long time. But, uh... Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty good, peeps. That is pretty freaking good. And, and, and bear in mind, unupgraded as well. All right, but see what I mean, peeps? This stuns really well. Like, it usually, oh, or, or not? Or maybe we're just getting unlucky with the stuns here. There we go. But then I imagine in this time, yeah, I would switch to the ice one because this dude is weak to ice and we'd be able to get a ton of damage in. Ah, gosh. I'm being beaten up so much in this episode, but yeah, peeps, I guess, I guess I'm gonna have to end this episode here. Getting these staves took way, way longer than I thought it would, but I'm gonna have to rethink my hotbar layout because, oh, I didn't even have my wizarding hat on there, peeps. Oh, what a, what a foolish mistake on my end, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited to use these more in the next episode. We're going to absolutely use these against the wasps, which is going to be interesting. So we're going to make pollen arrows to shoot the wasps out of the sky. And then we'll, we'll try to hit them with the elemental weapons. I don't know. It, it might still be more effective just to use our normal melee, but we, we've got to try it, right, peeps? We've got to try it all right but yes peeps thank you all so much for watching this episode of ground i'm sorry we didn't get to wasps today but to tomorrow we'll be able to divert our full attention to killing them but for now this is the end of this episode like i've said so i hope you all enjoyed and i will see you all in the next video Bye bye tully you need to work better on not flying in front of me man especially when i'm casting things you're lucky i can't friendly fire you oh my god please don't destroy my house please don't destroy my house oh whoo whoo that was scary